concern about issues of uh, placemaking, um, SCD development, um, infrastructure, education, technology. Um, but I think that we all, as creative folk, have to recognize that we have a role to play in, in our development, in Africa's development. It's not only about the uh, politicians doing it. Uh, we all can uh, contribute uh, in making Accra, Ghana, and Africa a much better place. I'll start off with a quick video. Yes, it is. This whole issue of advocacy um, is very important in my life. I mean, now I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit older now, but advocacy is about the willingness to open yourself up. It's about your, will your willingness to kind of share, and most importantly, your willingness to collaborate. And Market Project is an, an initiative by a new form collective called the Ghana Design Network. And Barbara Davis and Mrs. Noel Kudua of the Advantage Group were the uh, originators of this uh, platform and I was asked to be part of it. Of course, I, I jumped at it. <laughs> the reason I jumped at it is, most of you may know that Archie Africa, my organization, and we are, um, let's get the Archie Africa slides going. I'm just going to let these slides roll and then I'll just talk um, about what we do. Archie Africa is a platform that um, looks at the, both the built and cultural space of Africa. I'm an architect, but I quickly uh, realized when I moved back 11 years ago from the States that the African practitioner, in my case, the African architect, needs to take on its context in a very different way. It's not about sitting in an office and drawing anymore. We have to engage with technology, you have to engage with reality, you have to engage with your context, understand how can your trade, how can your training, how can your passion help on the local level? So I think um, this was my market initiative. It's basically a trilogy. There are three, it's, a, it's, a third, it's a third in the trilogy of initiatives we've done in, in Jamestown over the last couple of years. Um, we, the most extraordinary thing we did last February was when we paired Eden, the hip hop artist, with Kune Adeyemi, a very well-known Nigerian architect. Most of you have seen this Makoko school, the floating school in Lagos. Have you seen, it? Have you seen this? So um, um, Kune was here sharing with, with us his vision for a new Lagos. And we paired up with you know, Eden, who I think is an urban word of the extraordinaire, to see the community of Jamestown come out to listen to a concept also to architecture. Now that to me is what we need to understand in this new generation. Our disciplines are interwoven. Fashion, you know, architecture, art, sculpture. We are all part of what we call the, the um, um, allied field and, and, and broadly as part of the creative umbrella. We need to engage in you know, letting people know that development doesn't mean when the mayor says, oh, we have raise 100 million from Scandinavia to do a bridge or sanitation. We as individuals need to contribute to the local economy. So the Osumai market was basically saying, this market exists already. We're not going to build a new market, but through design, how can we tweak it? How can we rejig it? And how can we reimagine it? And bring people who otherwise wouldn't come to Osumai market to come and eat the food for Osumite Night Market and spend money in Osumite Market, which we proved. I mean, the next day, I mean, this is the second one we had done, but this is the main one. Um, the, the, the local vendors who are hosts, basically, they call me, Atria calls me and says, you know, oh, it was excited. Then Aku calls me and says, oh, the area boys say, if you want to run for MP, you can come. <laughs> And then I quickly really enjoyed it. You don't cut my money, that might be a good thing. <laughs> so, I always used to say that we don't have to sit back and sit, you know, get into this kind of partisan discourse about development. Development is by us and for us. And so, we as creatives, I think, have shared our responsibility a little bit. I mean, lawyers are always on radio talking, 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 talking. Engineers are talking, talking, talking. But creative people do come and share what they can contribute to society. But after all, it's very important to recognize that to be an advocate, it's not you saying you are an advocate. 
It has to be bestowed upon you. The people have to say, person A or person B speaks for us. And we believe in what they're saying. So all this is say, of the uh, groupings like this, Mesh, or where is uh, Hassan? I must commend you because the, the notion of the collective, which is a very old cultural thing that we, we seem to have forgotten. I mean, I tell people that I'm, we're very blessed. I'm very blessed. I think I'm, we're the last of the uh, generation, Barbara. Uh, we, are, we are in our 50s. Uh, Barbara, I won't tell Barbara's age, I think you know. <laughs> After my 50s. But he grew up, I went to school very close by near Richard School. My grandmother lived in the Popon and in our village at their studio, Popon Farmers. So as a child, I recognized the power of my kind of traditional self and my Western training and upbringing. But guess what? We moved between these, these, these two worlds seamlessly. I and mean, I didn't think about it. But now, we're at the time when we're all doing this, and most of us do we know where our hometowns are. Not that it's about the physical place, but it's your emotional connection to the collective ideal. And that is what is missing. So I implore you, you've done your, you are doing it here, but take it one step further. You need to think about from the talk shops of Mesh and all the our capital, all the other groups, what can we do to change the lives of one person every week? One person every week. You are, so you are, you are a wonderful painter. I know, why don't you team up and do something that will generate revenues for, the, for your project and become sustainable, sustainable, you know? And within the community, it's not grand stuff. Let uh, Okubanda worry about the grand stuff. We worry about the small stuff, yeah? Let Mahama worry about the, we worry about the, the small because it's these little projects, to me, are the sustainable interventions that Africa needs. This is what we need. This, you know, all this big budgetary stuff, great. But we can still operate within that kind of uh, wonderful uh, pie bottom. And that's where the, uh, the, the uh, action is. And also, work with your intuition. You know, I was not a guy, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a traditionalist, but intuition is something that the, that's the advantage that, that the African has. It's something from within. It's something that some, sometimes you can't really explain, but you feel it. But Western training forces us to forget this feel. And this feel is what, to me, is the spiritual side of creativity and that can do spirit. You know, we go to university, primary school, everything's so linear, two plus two, blah, blah. it's all good. But don't forget the other side. But that's the advantage that we have over the uh, Europeans. They can feel things, everything has to be logical. But within this context, we can, we can experiment and feel and get, get to it better and better and better. You, you, you don't have to wait and say, I have this great idea, it's perfectly baked, and I'm not going to execute it. No. Boom, one step. One step. So this is what I believe in, and I know that a lot of you people are living this, uh, living this example. But it's important to have more platforms like to showcase the great stuff that people are doing that the media will never cover. But, that, but that's okay too. Technology is our friend. Yeah? So together we, we can do a lot of things. I'm very proud of this, this uh, project, for example. You know, uh, we get, I travel the world talking about architecture, art, and creativity. And we also host conferences here in Accra. This was the last one that, that, that we did for the Dutch government, called Accra we visited. And like all conferences, we could have gone to the, what the place, the Accra Conference Center, or Physicians and one, 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 whatever it is called. But I decided that this conference needs to leave something behind. That's the advocacy. So we put together a proposal to companies like Coral Paints, Crane Construction, uh, Michelletti Ghana, ANC Development, on and on. To say we want to restore or renovate the main level of the children's music. Have you guys been to the who, who's been to the uh, children's library down uh, at the High Street? Okay, so we must also know it. But it's a it's a heritage building. 
It's a great modernist masterpiece of the 60s era. And you know, why people travel all the world to come and see that building, but we don't even know that that building. And there are many of those kinds of buildings. But we need, we need to recognize what we've got. So, we, um, we got the funding, put it open, and we painted it, and we fixed the bathrooms, and we did the, what, what they were about to tear the wonderful wooden floor. We said, hey, hold off. We polished it and on and on and on. So now when you go and see it, it's not about its original glory, but it's the first step in getting there. And guess what? It's not what value to the library who are now renting it out for events and blah, blah, blah. So it's about building up a local economy. There's no need to start a new stuff. Let's look for what is there. That's the strength about advocacy. Advocacy means, to me, the willingness to look obliquely at a condition and come up with a response. Yeah, which ultimately the people will benefit from. So it's very, very important. And it's not being totally selfless, really. I mean, I get a great joy doing these things. And we all have a bit of an ego. It's, oh, do you download that? Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's really important that we um, 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 recognize each other. It's very important that we recognize um, each other. This is the uh, concept with uh, Eden in the old case with Ellie. That fabulous. We brought it back to life. We lit it up, you know. It was like being in the Colosseum in, in, uh, uh, in Rome. And we really went to town on it. And the children could you come and go through it. The children, for me, was just so exciting to see the community take ownership of this thing. You know, the security was provided by some of the bodybuilders in, in that area. You know, they were so protective of us. We brought in portable toilets, really high quality ones. And the people, the community could actually use it also. You know, it was fantastic. So then the next event that we did uh, a week or two later was screening of Kirikou, this wonderful animation on the western wall of Ashafort. And again, we, we kind of dolled up Ashafort and the, the parking lot we became this incredible backdrop for, look, look at that, the children were transfixed. My own son, I don't know if this is the slide, he was, I said, we should be like, it looks fantastic, but my son lives, I'm going this way, my son lives in East Lagoon. He would never come to Jamestown. But for the, these big, the uh, kids were teaching how to use the, the bicycle tire thing. But when they back, they never seen something before. Wait, you know, he was so excited. He discovered some, uh, something new. So this is what all these things are about. It's about you know, intervention within our community, especially our old city. Until our is growing, Northwest, eastwards, and all that. But a crowd can never be a crowd if it's centered and crowds not go. It's, it's impossible. Every city in the world, you go to Baltimore, Harlem, uh, London, I mean, if the center is not sp spiritually awake, uh, the whole town is, uh, is fragmented and all that. So, this is, uh, you saw part of this in the, uh, in the video, and so well, this is the, uh, our current initiative which we are actually, the video that you saw, um, we are about to present it at the conference in Holland next week, uh, at, the, at the conference of what design can do. And then I'm also going to present it with Barbara at the University, the Technical, the Technical University of Delft, where I'm teaching this year. So we are, what we're trying to do is, we need to spread the message. You know, last week I was in, um, uh, I just got back from Johannesburg, where I was giving a lecture somewhere else, but I ended up doing um, a panel discussion with an architect called Petty from MMA, MMA and the great Hugh Masakela, uh, the trumpeter, the jazz trumpeter. And Hugh, most people don't know this, but some of the greatest voices or proponents or advocates for architecture or the public realm are not architects. I think architects, by and large, because of our training, don't know how to talk about the public realm. But when we talk about the public realm, we assume it's about buildings, it's about edifice. To me, it's about interstitial spaces, the places where people gather. But we have it all backwards. We're looking at the look at airport, a city, all these colorful buildings here. Yeah, okay. But where are the people? We don't even have sidewalks to walk. I mean, I, I walk in the mornings. You won't believe it. Yes, I do. But um, <laughs> that has a few squares. Um, like, you know. so, I walk in the mornings and I have to do it at 5.30 or 6 a.m. before the cars start coming. 
or I have to work in my lumbus, as you say, when they look at bad people in hotel animals. I'm telling you why. And I'm telling you, let's not forget the impact it's having, it's having on us. I know doing so is bad, but doing so is a, tran it's a transitional thing. This urban mayhem that we, that we um, experience every day is doing more damage to us than doing so could ever do. Where are the trees? Huh? Where are the uh, uh, jogging paths? Where are the, the, the walking paths? On and on and on. When you're walking down, no trees to even go and rest small. So, so they then five minutes for a week. I see people walking, the handkerchief is flowing. Mothers, my colour, the whole of that, there's not one single tree. So, how can you go shopping and come for that? That's why these South, South Africans are building all these malls. Air condition, they will go and spend a small money to make. Just like South African people who can chop free, you know, Makola can be done nice. Eh? The same thing you find at the game is Makola. Am I lying? Oh, am I uh, imagining? But I will never go there, but the heat alone will destroy you. So, all I will say is look, collectively we can do a lot. Collectively we can do a lot, and it's wonderful to see young people like you or you're organizing. It's informal now, but your voices are still very, very strong. Okay? And both, both, both folks like us, they are listening and we are watching and we are very, very proud. And we may not reach out like we should, but I know that my friends and I are very, very proud of what you wonderful artists and graphics people and IT guys are doing. And because we depend on you. We depend on you. You know, I fight with my assistant, Pedro here, who tell you every day we are fighting. But the boy, the young man, is working. He, he, he woke me up this morning and said, Sir, you know you're giving a lecture at the... I said, oh, which uh, lecture? He said, oh, Hassan, I said, you could do power. If, you, if I had gone out of town to go in trouble. Anyway, but young people are very concerned and trying to promote this dialogue. It's very important, but the dialogue at some point needs a transition into action. I say action, it's not about Luta, that's another, that's not also allowed, but we don't have to, we all, we all cannot be Aluta people. <laughs> Some of us have to kind of just do our thing. Yeah? It's a very approach to organizing and getting the message across that we need here in, here in Accra, in Ghana, and in Africa. So I won't talk too much. Uh, I know that Ms. Ayusu is, Ms. Ayusu is ready to wow us with some incredible stuff, thank you. So, I want you all to, uh, in, in leaving, know that this Ghana Design Network is a, is a collective that we can all be part of. I have my own series of um, organizations, but I am part of it, the Design Network. It's just another voice, another angle uh, for us to share and implement. On that note, thank you very much. Hope to see you guys all soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.